Hello, I'm Susan, and this is Christina. Hello. We made this movie in 2006. It's about home fire safety for people who are deaf or hard of hearing. Today, we are here to update the movie. We want to tell you about the new technology to alert people who are deaf and hard of hearing so they know their smoke alarms have detected a fire in their home and they can get out. This is a new device based on scientific research about a more effective way to wake up people. So how does the life tone alert me while I'm sleeping? I'm deaf. I can't hear the smoke alarm sound. The life tone has a bed shaker to wake up people who are deaf. And for the people who are hard of hearing, it makes a loud sound. The sound is at a low frequency that most people who are hard of hearing can hear. The life tone is by your bed, so when you are sleeping, you can wake up. The life tone runs on electricity. There are batteries for backup. It has batteries so it will work when the power is off. Like if there is a thunderstorm here in Oklahoma and the electricity goes out. You install the batteries, then after you put the batteries in, you plug in the bed shaker. Next, you plug the electrical cord into a wall outlet by the head of your bed. The life tone must be located where you sleep. The life tone is smart. It has a self test. The display is telling me to push the test button on the back. The life tone will complete the self test and then we will see the word test again on the display. Now we have the life tone connected to the electrical power. There is one more step in completing the life tone setup. When you see the display say test for the second time, then we will make sure the life tone can hear the smoke alarms in your home. Remember, the life tone must hear the smoke alarm so it can alert the people who are deaf or hard of hearing. We must make sure the life tone is compatible with the smoke alarms we have in our homes. You go to the smoke alarm in your home that is the farthest away from where you sleep with the life tone. You push the test button on the smoke alarm. You hold it down for about 30 seconds. The life tone receives the signal and alerts. The bed shaker will shake and on the display it will say fire. You test the smoke alarm and have a second person beside the life tone to make sure it alerts. The life tone shows 12 hour on the display when it has passed the two tests. That means you can now set the clock and the alarm on the life tone. 
the Life Tone Quick Start Guide has instructions to set the clock and the alarm. They are easy to understand with step-by-step -step instructions that are easy to follow. What else do I need to know about the Life Tone? If the test were not successful, you will see 888 on the Life Tone display. If that happens, just start over from the beginning. If the Life Tone will not complete the tests the second time you try, the problem could be that your smoke alarm is more than 10 years old. Smoke alarms should be replaced after 10 years? Exactly. The Life Tone will not complete the test during the setup unless your smoke alarms are less than 10 years old. Now, let me show you how to keep the black dome free from clutter. This black dome on top of the life tone is the listening device. It must be free from anything covering it, like a tissue or a magazine or other clutter you might have beside your bed. Before I go to sleep, I always have a book or a magazine on my nightstand. I will make sure I don't put any of these on my life tone. Good. The display on the life tone is key to understanding any problems with the device. For example, the backup batteries need to be replaced every year or when the display flashes B-A-T-T. -T. Someone who is hearing will also hear a low battery sound. This means the batteries need to be replaced. Leave the Life Tone plugged into the wall outlet while you put four new D cell batteries in the battery compartment. The display may flash B E D S. This means the bed shaker is not plugged in securely. Plug the bed shaker firmly into the jack on the back of the Life Tone. One important step to set up the Life Tone is to place the bed shaker under the mattress. Right. Place the bed shaker under your mattress. People who are hard of hearing need to be sure the Life Tone speaker is facing their pillow. Susan, I know to test my smoke alarms every month. When do I test my Life Tone? When you test your smoke alarm, test your Life Tone also. You push and hold the test or silence button on the back of the life tone for two seconds. You will see the word fire on the display. The bed shaker will shake and the loud low sound will be made. The life tone will not respond or alert to your smoke alarms when you push the test button on the smoke alarms. 
the life tone is smart. It knows the difference between a smoke alarm test and when the smoke alarm is signaling a real fire. How will I know if my smoke alarm makes the alert sound when I test it? How do I know? The new technology does not help people who are deaf test their smoke alarms. Making sure that your smoke alarms are working is very important. Who could help you test your smoke alarms? Do you have a hearing friend or family member who could be there with you when you test your smoke alarms? They can let you know, yes, it's working. It's very important to test your smoke alarms every month. Some smoke alarms operate with a battery. If the battery needs to be replaced, the smoke alarm will chirp. But we can't hear that, of course. The chirping is telling you to replace the battery. It will continue for seven days. You won't know that the battery is low unless a hearing person tells you. Test your alarms regularly so you know they are working. So the smoke alarm battery may need to be replaced. I can do that myself. I have the bed shaker to wake me up at night if there's a fire. But how do I know there is a fire when I'm not in my bed? There is a different piece of equipment. A strobe light is the required signal to alert people who are deaf to a fire. You will have a smoke alarm with a strobe light installed in your home. And your other senses will help. You may see or smell a fire when you are awake. What does this smoke alarm look like? How does it work? This is a smoke alarm. This smoke alarm has a strobe light. You plug it into an electrical outlet and secure it with the bracket to keep the cord plugged in. This smoke alarm has a 9 volt battery for backup. The battery does not operate the strobe light. That's good. The strobe light is a very good way to alert people who are deaf while they are awake. They can see the strobe light even if you are not directly facing it. Most people who are deaf will have more than one type of smoke alarm in their home. You need to know that battery operated alarms must be tested and the batteries replaced when needed. Batteries die, you need to test them and replace them when needed. The smoke alarms installed in Oklahoma have a long life battery. How do I test the smoke alarm with the strobe light? How do I do that? There is a red indicator light that flashes every 30 seconds. That shows the smoke alarm is working. On this alarm, you turn the knob to test one. And in 20 seconds, the alarm will sound and the visual signal will flash. 
the manufacturer recommends you test the alarm every week. When you test the Gentex alarm, the life tone will also alert with the bed shaker and the loud, low sound. The display will flash fire. My dad is deaf. He sleeps in a recliner and not in a bed. Where should I put his life tone? Your dad can put his life tone close to his recliner and put the bed shaker under the seat. Always keep the life tone close to where you sleep. And Christina, there is always that important word, clean. Clean? Clean what? What do I do? Smoke alarms get dusty, and sometimes spiders make a little home inside. Just remove the cover and vacuum the dust and the spider webs. Keep the dust off. I will keep the owner's manual and instructions for all of my home fire safety equipment. I may need more information in the future.